Welcome to Strip Coverlet. I am Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And we are here with our second consecutive week with a patron haul. Second consecutive week. It took seven days for a sea of patrons to flow in again. That's right. And here we are again with their own video. We have power. Dude, I'm so... I'm giddy right now. Yeah. I, we, we, we don't seem it because we are... We've been filming for eight hours it's now. It's deliriously tired. Yeah. But... Uh, doing review videos for eight hours, nonetheless. Yes, yes. But, uh, yeah, this is this is amazing. Like, we went to the toy store today, and I didn't even complain once. Not once. It was the best trip ever. Dalton loves nothing. Yeah, never go shopping with me. It's a nightmare. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. Who yes. do you want to start with here uh, first? Would you like to start with Amber? Certainly. We will start with Amber Leahy. Who yeah. does have Leahy? I hope I say that right. Uh, who does have a booktube channel called Amber Eats Books? So we do suggest you shoot over to her channel. She's relatively new to the world of booktube. Yes. Uh, but we see the channel name, and it's Amber Eats Books. Yes. So we have to run with this. Yes. Because you know what's perfect? Kirby. Because Kirby eats books. Kirby eats everything, and I think that's wonderful. We're gonna have to play on the channel name there. And I've wanted for years to have a Kirby. Don't lie to me. You asked me if this was a Pokemon. That's true, I did. <laughs> but, but what's not to love about a Kirby? I love when I can like embarrass you and actually get away with it every now and then, because I know you hate me right now you for know, saying that. You know, Dalton, eventually that camera's getting turned <laughs> off. Uh, no, Amber has a BookTube channel, and she is relatively new to the world of BookTube. Uh, so we do highly suggest you pop over to her channel. Uh, but it is Amber Eats Books, and Amber will forever be Kirby. Yes. Uh, Amber is not the only fellow booktuber to have joined the ranks of our patron uh, this glorious week. We also have Brittany Stallman, who I believe her booktube channel is called Girl on Kindle Fire. Um, but she also... What are you doing? I'm readjusting the patrons. Uh, we will include a link to her video, or to her channel, in the description below. Uh, but Brittany also goes by Brit. Uh, but here's the thing that struck me. Brit, uh, I've been drafting my next YouTube shout-out. Brittany had made the cut for that shout-out. One of the things that I will say about Brittany's channel is that she's still developing her voice. And it is interesting to see her voice develop from her first videos through her newer videos. And she also said that she is a fan of Star Wars. So I took these two facts and ran with them. And for that, Bosk from the Star Wars universe, who is a bounty hunter, as Brittany hunts for her voice and hunts for the mark that she will be uh, leaving on the BookTube community, I think that that is a very fitting a uh, little figure. Look at you tying all that together. Yeah, I even had to tell him who Bosk was. Now here we go. See, I was about ready to shame myself. Yeah. Uh, but no, Adrian picks this up and he says, "This is Bounty Hunter, isn't it?" I'm like, "Yeah." This is no. Bosk. No, no, no. And he said, "Yeah, it's Bosk, isn't it?" I'm like, "I don't know." You're like, "I'm looking it up." So you look it up. We're standing like in the store that hates us at this point because we come in every week and we just like yell at each other and get really excited and don't acknowledge any of the employees. Yeah. And you sit there for like two or three minutes using your antique phone to search it. And you're like, it is Bosk! I'm right! Ha! That's not at all how this That's happened. That's how it happens. Uh, he didn't know that that person was a bounty hunter. He definitely didn't know that the name was Bosk. He's not a real Star Wars fan. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Brittany Stallman will forever be Bosk. Yes. On our set. Uh, now, this next one's going to need a little bit of explanation because this person has been a patron for a while now. Uh, and we have done as much sleuthing as we could possibly do. Uh, we could not find social media. We could not find Facebook, Twitter. Uh, just dug and dug and dug. Uh, we've been trying to reach out to patrons. And we say, hey, if you sign up for our patronage, shoot us a patron message. Shoot us a Twitter message. Just tell us about yourself a little bit. Nothing. Silence. Radio silence from Colleen Miller. So, I run with it. And I say, I'm going to buy myself something nice, and I'm going to get me a toy I want. So I go to the Doctor Who section, and I get the silence. There you go. 
I have no idea what that is. I know you have no idea what that is, but that is indeed The Silence. Looks a little bit like The Gentleman from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't watch Buffy the Vampire. I'm not old enough for that. You're a son of a bitch. (laughs) I was going to brag on my uh, pop media skills by having made a Buffy the Vampire Slayer reference, and then you remind me that that show's 20 years old. You're welcome. So, so Colleen, we do say, uh, if you do see this, you are the silence now, uh, but at least shoot us a message. Let us know who you are, what you like, and we do try to incorporate people's thoughts into the planning of this channel. Yes. Uh, so we would love to hear your interests, and hopefully we can talk a little bit more in the future. Uh, now, Court Aniol. Aniol? Aniol, Aniol. Potato, potato. Uh, also joined the ranks of our patronage, and she boasts herself as a 90s kid, right? Okay. I can get behind that. Now, what could be more 90s than The Simpsons? Mm. This is true. And what Simpsons character would fit better on the stripped cover lit set and in the stripped cover lit audience? Disco Stew. Did you have to ruin it? Disco Stew. I love Disco Stew. No, okay. Lisa Simpson. Look at that. Now, when I was watching The Simpsons as a child, Lisa was one of my least favorite characters. Really? Yes. Um, but as I have gotten older, Lisa might be my favorite character on The Simpsons. She's constantly struggling for dignity, as uh, many people who come from a Midwestern household may be able to sympathize with, right? True. Very true. Um, she is the brainy one. She is the learned one. She is the one that enjoys school enjoys learning, enjoys the intelligentsia. Okay. And she's the one that often finds her way out of trouble. That we, the Bart Simpsons of the YouTube (laughs) community, need that help from. So, Court, you will forever be represented on the strip cover set as the most intelligent of the Simpsons characters. Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson. Uh, I have to tell this story. Uh, When I had large hair, uh, a large following of people started calling me uh, Saito Bob. Okay. So I took it and ran with it for a while, and then I cut my hair, but I still have this, like, super curly, it's probably a wreck right now, uh, hair, and I also tend to wear, like, 70s disco clothing. Yes. Because, yes. (laughs) And people are like, so, disco stew now? (laughs) I'm like, yeah, I guess so. (laughs) Whatever you tell me to do, I'm okay with. (laughs) Anyway. Uh, Sideshow show Bob was a very underrated character as well from the Simpsons universe, I think. You think so? Yeah. yeah. It's Kelsey Grammer, wasn't it? I don't know. I believe it was Kelsey Grammer. I'm not old enough to watch the Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you keep jabbing? That's two much. in a day. Two in a day. Two in uh, a video. Did, anyway, one video. next up, Tanya Eisenberg. Who, might I say, was very kind to send us a few messages on Patreon, which is wonderful. Because that's what we ask for, is to please shoot us messages so we can uh, at least have something to talk about here. Uh, see if I can pull this up checking super your text switch. I'm not checking my text messages. Who's sending you nudie pictures? Uh, you. Uh, but no, no, Tanya has uh, informed us that her favorite things are Harry Potter. And she's also a fan of Jane Austen. And she's also a fan of Agatha Christie. I am correct on Agatha Christie. Please tell me I'm correct on Agatha Christie. <laughs> oh. So, we don't care about Jane Austen or Agatha well, Christie. that's not fair. That's not fair. I had set out, originally, because we had found uh, pictures, or pictures, um, we had found, at one point in time, figures from Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Mm-hmm. And now they are nowhere to be found. Which would have been perfect. Yeah. Which would have been, been perfect. Awesome. Uh, however, uh, Tanya is from Austria, which I believe is a large city in Germany, uh, because I'm an American, and that's how my geography works. Uh, so, she is a Harry Potter fan. Yeah. So, we want to immortalize her on set in Harry Potter fashion with a major character from Harry Potter. Yes. Because she follows instructions and shot us a message and said, hey... Here's what I like. This is what I like about your show. And she started a conversation. Uh, So she gets rewarded with a good figure. She gets a Draco Malfoy. Draco's one of the better characters from the Harry Potter series. I think so. Uh, I like Draco. He is 
not the good guy, but I'm okay with that. And that's fine. This is Draco in his Quidditch uniform, too. Really? Not that you care, but it is. What's Quidditch? I hate you so much. Uh, but no, we didn't want to get you just any Harry Potter figure because you follow instructions and you help and make our lives easier. And now we have someone else to talk to bo talk books to. Uh, so, Draco Malfoy, Tanya Eisenberg from Austria, Germany. We appreciate it. Now, <clears throat> don't you realize that it is probably very poor form to be pissy during a patron hall. Am I pissy? You're be <laughs> How am Follows I pissy? instructions. I am complimenting. That is not being pissy. It's being backhandedly pissy. And I am complimenting someone from Austria, Germany, who said specifically, please don't say I'm from Germany. I, I hate it when people do that. I know. <laughs> so, leaving the ranks of our patrons. <laughs> uh, did you just giggle? I did. That was actually really funny. <laughs> I don't do that too often. I'm sorry. Please move on. <laughs> Everyone, laugh at Dalton's laugh. Rewind it just a little bit. Let's get his giggle. It was a good giggle. Finally, Maggie D. Maggie Dobshoots. Join the rank of our patrons and one of her interests, if you can call it that, is... Uh, what are they called? You know what they're called. I am blanking. I know what this one's called. Pokemon. That is a Pokemon. One of her interests is Pokemon. And I want you to know how much I love you and how much you mean to me because this was very difficult for me to justify possessing. As you can you can tell as I just rock back and forth trying to comfort <laughs> myself that this will be in my living room for the rest of my life. Uh, she said that... What is it? Po Pokemon is one of her interests... And here, what what is more iconic a poke man than uh, now singular or are they poke man? No, they're Pokemon. What about multiple? They're Pokemon. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's there is one Pokemon. There are many Pokemon. That's stupid. That's stupid. But this is Pikachu. Now Maggie has been working her way through our uh, our catalog. Of videos yes and commenting very diligently and now I will forever be imagining her comments in the Pikachu voice is there a Pikachu voice I think there is I think it's squeaky yes yes okay it's like the voice you use to make fun of me that's the Pikachu voice that's the Pikachu voice pretty similar pick a, pick a Dalton Dalton shoe <laughs> pick a Dalton shoe uh, but no Maggie also shot us a message and said hey good to see you guys uh, this is what I like this is what I don't like and Pokemon <laughs> were one of her interests I like your videos that don't like Dalton. I don't like eh, Dalton. We get those a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, so we wanted to get one of the most iconic figures we could find yes. from Pokemon. Because here's the thing. I, I grew up with Pokemon. I have no idea what it means. You don't get better than Pikachu. Uh, there was an entire section of Pokemon that I'm staring at. I'm like, I don't even know what these are. Like, I can't get her one that I can't be like, uh, this. we got this one because... Because we couldn't pronounce the name. <laughs> See, that's where Kirby was, and that's why I thought. And Kirby you said was Kirby a, was a Pokemon. Was a you're a terrible was person. A Pokemon. We're gonna have to like educate you on the Pokemon. World. And that's one of the things that we talked about when we were standing. That I, I've been a liar my whole life. Like, if I had to think of reasoning for any character for anyone, I could probably come up with something. But I'm at an extreme disadvantage in these shops because I have no idea what any of these things are. Uh, even things that are from my childhood. Pokemon was around when I was a kid. Yeah. I remember riding on the bus and kids were trading Pokemon cards. I should know those things. See, he says this, but it, at the same time, I'm standing at the counter literally knocking over everything and dropping all of our purchases. So, I, I'm no better in the stores, really. Well, but you're a hazard in the store. I'm, I'm just a, clueless. I'm a fall risk yeah. in the store. So it's like You're like Frankenstein's monster. Yes. And I'm Frankenstein. Yes. I have created this thing, and now he goes out and sets fires and throws children in the lake. We're going to read Frankenstein. It'll be good for you. I yeah, so. it will be good. I do enjoy that. I... Anyway, this was our patron haul, our second consecutive one in yes. two weeks. Uh, we were this, extremely humbled and thankful. This is great, as always, that uh, people are willing to support us. Even if uh, you do like things like Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is wonderful. I, I, I never know what to say here, because I... You can't just say thank you enough. Yeah. Uh, but and if it, you do say thank you enough, no one wants to watch it. Exactly. Right? Uh, but it really does mean the world to us every week. Yes, because what we are setting out to do is talk about literature, and what this means to us is that we're doing that all right. Yes. Right? 
I at least for a select group of people, they agree <laughs> with us. Uh, and we have actually talked. We are going to have to expand the set. Yeah, like it's going to need a patron shelf because there's so many of them right now, which is a great problem. To have. Right. right. Never thought we'd have that issue. No. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a like for our patrons, not us. Uh, show, show some support for them. They're great people. If you would like to support them by supporting us, you are more than welcome to join our patronage in a link that can be found in the description below. But make sure you also follow us on Twitter at Stripped Cover and on Facebook at Stripped Cover Lit.